بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم میں ڈیئر اسٹوڈینٹس ہاؤ یو یس ٹو ڈے وی ڈسکس دا ٹو ریفارمس آف بٹو رجیم دیٹ واز دا اکنامک ریفارمس اینڈ لیبر ریفارم ناٹ ٹو ڈے آئی ڈسکس انڈسٹری ریفارمس اینڈ انڈسٹری ریفارمس اکارڈنگ ٹو دا آرڈیننس آف نائنٹین سیونٹی ٹو سم انڈسٹری وار which promulgated by a president. It can be issued when parliament is not session. یہ لائے ہوتا ہے قانون ہوتا ہے ضابطہ ہوتا ہے صدر کی طرف سے جاری ہوتا ہے اس کی مدد تین سے چھ ماہ تک ہوتی ہے اور وٹ از نیشنلائزیشن نیشنلائزیشن مینس ٹو میک اے نیشنل پٹ دا کمپنی اینڈ دا ایریا آف پروڈکشن انڈر دا کنٹرول آف دا گورمنٹ سو The Bhutto nationalized 20 industries, these including oil and steel industries, heavy engineering and automobiles and tractor assembling industries, heavy electric engineering, oil and gas refineries, etc. The policy of nationalization only implement on the local industry, not of foreign enterprises. Uh, which was foreign enterprises which was running from the foreign capital. So the situation was not so good. <clears throat> the pace of development was very slow. So the loss occurred rather than the gain. So this is the industry um, reforms of Bhutto. So uh, this is the uh, difficult words of the pair of industry reforms envisaged. تصور کرنا اعلان کیا کرنا کیریڈ آؤٹ کیے گئے فور انٹرپرائز خیر ملکی ادارے نو کم فائیو انڈسٹریز اینڈ آرڈیننس ان نائنٹین سیونٹی ٹو نیشنلائزیشن آف سرٹن انڈسٹری دیز انکلوڈنگ آر این ایس ٹی انڈسٹری بیسک میٹرالوجی ہیوی انجینئرنگ آٹو موبائل اینڈ ٹریکٹر اسمبلنگ پلانٹس ہیوی الیکٹریکل انجینئر پلانٹس اینڈ آئل اینڈ گیس ریفائنریز سو Twenty set industry in this sector were nationalized, while the policy of nationalization was carried out with regard to domestic investment. Foreign enterprises operating in the country were not interfered with. The industrial reform brought the economic more than directly under the state control, as the investors were not granted any protection, slow down, protection they slow, slow down. the pace of investment in the in the industry sector so this is the um, national industry reforms the other uh, reforms was the life insurance and banking what is insurance insurance means bima bima life ka bhi karaya ja ja sakta hai gaadi ka bhi hota hai factory karkhane ka ghar ka gaadi ka بعض اپنے بچوں کی تعلیم کے لیے بیمہ کرواتے ہیں سو اٹ از اے کانٹریکٹ بٹوین دا انشورنس کمپنی اینڈ دا پالیسی ہولڈر سو بٹو نیشنلائز دا نیشنلائز دا انشورنس کمپنی اینڈ بگ اینڈ آل دا بگ اینڈ اسمال انشورنس کمپنیز مرچ ٹو فارم دا اسٹیٹ لائف انشورنس کارپوریشن اینڈ ادر اسٹیپ ریگارڈنگ نیشنلائزیشن بٹو نیشنلائز آل دا بینکس which were operating in the country were nationalized and put under the control of the State Bank of Pakistan. So the, this decision did not help the functionaries of these banks to improve their performance. Reason for improving the situation will be bad. So these are the life insurance and banking. These are the difficult words of life insurance and banking Uh, para life insurance policy it is a contract between the insurance company and policy holder merge zam karna deteriorate it bigar gaya functionally kar kar degi now come to the page number 5 read start reading all life insurance company working in the country were nationalized on march 19 1972 all these were merged to form the state life life insurance corporation in november of the same year through a presidential order 
All the banks operating in the country were nationalized and were put under the control of the State Bank of Pakistan in May 1972. This move did not help the function, functionaries of these banks to improve the, their performance, rather it deteriorated. So, the other reforms was Bhutto education reforms. By following the education to all, Bhutto introduced education reforms. Bhutto nationalized education institution. Free education was provided in the schools that were nationalized. But this policy was adopted only a low standard education institutions. High standard education institution left in private hands. So it created a big problem that is class differences and which widened the class restrictions in the education institution. So this is the reforms of education reforms. Now start the reading page number 5. For making education accessible to the common citizens of the country, Bhutto government nationalized education institution. Free education was provided in schools that were nationalized. However, this policy failed in attaining its objective. This was because some this was because some educational institution with high standard education were left in private hands, which widened the restrictions the educational institution. The other reforms was Bhutto regime was agriculture reforms. Bhutto governments announced the agriculture reforms on March 1st, 1972. The land ownership was reduced from 500 acres to 150 acres for irrigation, irrigated land and, the, and from 1,000 acres to 300 acres for arid land. A remaining land limit was land was distributed among the peasants. Other step was that the eviction of tenants were prohibited. Other certain conditions, जैसे के अगर वो लगान न दे, tax न दे, या फसल की कटाई में से हिस्सा न दे, या जरूरी दूसरी जरूरी जरूरियत को पूरा न कर सके, तब owner जो है वो के सांत को उसको नुजाई को निकाल सकता है. In case of sale of land, the tenants have, tenants have rights to purchase, given the right of purchase to the tenants. यानी उसको हक के शुफा दिया गया, यानी उसको अगर मालिक मालिक चाहेगा कि जमीन फरो करे, तो पहले वो उसका हक है टीनेट्स का कि उससे पूछे कि वो खरीदना चाहता है कि नहीं। And it is a duty of the owner to provide seed and water to the farmers. So these are the agriculture reforms which was announced by the Bhutto. This is the Typical words of agriculture reforms para proclaimed, elan kia, land ownership hadimal kiat, arid land barani zameen, irrigated land nehri zameen, excess zaid, eviction bedakhli, tenants mazairin, acre a unit of the land area equal to 4840 square yards. So these are the difficult words of. Uh, agriculture reforms para now start the reading the policy of nationalization however did not come to the expectation due to the overstuffing and political appointments of incompetent people nationalized institution began running on law so this is the end of the topic of the reforms